Hello, this is Excalibur, and I am doing a special D6 Pack Crack episode where I actually open up nine. This is the last nine of a booster box that started with opening up a, a fat pack and then going into the booster box. So this is the fourth of the special series. This is all because of Cons of Tarkir. Our release happened on Friday, um, the 25th of September, and I am just doing my standard buy a booster box, buy a fat pack. Without further ado, we're going to start opening up packs and see what we get. First pack we're going to open up, and as I've said in every video, I am really, really wanting to get a new camera that I can put on a tripod in front of me or over my shoulder to film these packs as I open them instead of you seeing my face going as I read through this stuff. So here we go. We've got a Cancel, a Swift Kick, a Rush of Battle, a Weave Fate, Smoke Teller, Sadisi's Pet, Awaken the Bear, Shambling Attendance, and a Jeskai Banner. Um, and Naturalize. The Jeskai Banner will go over here. Um, what I've been doing is all the lifelands. When you drop, it comes into play tapped, and you gain a life. They go over here in a pile along with any banners. So they're all sitting there. The commons, I just read the titles off unless there's something interesting uh, that I want to bring up. And then they go over to the side. Then I go through the three uncommons, um, the three uncommons, the rare, um, the tip, and the land card. So here we go. First uncommon, we have a Chief of the Edge. Warrior creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. And it's a three, two. Um, the Chief of Scales is the one that gives it plus zero, plus one. They go hand in hand together. We have a Gurmag Swift Wing, Flying First Strike Haste. This is a very good card for a black aggro deck. We have, lastly, a Frontier Bivouac. Um, that's a nice um, mana fixture. Our rare is Icy Blast. Tap X target creatures. If you control a creature with power 4 greater, those creatures don't untap during your controller's next untap step. There are a couple of cards that actually play with those tapped creatures. We have an island and a tip card. Now, hopefully we will get the last planeswalker I'm looking for. It's Sarkhan. Um, cancel, Raj of Boulders, Mardu Hor Hate Blade, um, Monastery Flock, Kumar Bondkin, Kintry Warden, a Mardu Banner, a Shambling Attendant, uh, Swiftwater Cliffs, we've seen these before, a Tusked Colossodon, and then we hit the Uncommons. Now let's see here, let's go like this. This one is a Mardu Blaze Bringer. Uh, when Mardu Blaze Bringer attacks or blocks, sacrifice it at the end of combat. Nobody really knows what this is good for. Um, I mean, it could go with a uh, um, Burning Rage, where you tap and do damage, or with Springleaf Drum or something, I don't know. We have a Murak Nightblade, Outlast is black, and each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has Death Touch. Very nice card. Um, let's see here, you could also do fights, so you put a plus one plus one counter on it and do a fight or whatever. Our last uncommon is Despise. I like this artwork, it's very nice. All right, lastly is our rare. We have a Meandering Tower Shell. It's got Island Walk, and whenever Meandering Tower Shell attacks, exile it, return to the battlefield under your control, tapped and attacking at the beginning of the declared attacker step on your next turn. Well, that is interesting, and it's 5-9. Um, that, that's cool. And we get another one of the cool goblin tokens and a planes. All right, our next pack. Starts off with the white card, which is Feet of Resistance. Always an awesome card. You get plus one, plus one counter, and it gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. This is something I really need for my mono white deck. I need a full play set. Uh, we have a Cancel, a Rite of the Serpent, a Dragon Scale Boon, a Freak Weapon Master, a War Behemoth, Bloodfell Caves again, a Mystic of the Hidden Way, a Summit Prowler, and then uh, we hit our uncommons. I saw a foily there, so I know we've got a foil. We have ourselves an Abzan Battle Priest. 
of Outlast, we have a swarm of blood flies. Um, it come, enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it, and whenever another creature dies, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Our last uncommon is the War Name Aspirant with the raid plus one plus one counter on it if it's played after something has attacked. And finally, we have the, the rare, which is a mind swipe. It's not very exciting on that. And we have a foil, which is an Inok Bonkin foil. I mean, it's nice and rainbowy. Uh, the foil armor is really cool. And then we've got an island and a tip card. Next pack, we at least got Soren. I'm happy about that. I might have to buy the Sarkon, but it's going to be an expensive card. And I don't really like having to buy that. Um, we've got a Tyum Scheming, Barrage of Boulders, Sage Eye Harrier, a Kin Tree Warden, Mardu Skull Hunter, Killshot. There's a Teamer Banner, um, a Force Away, a Bring Low, a Rugged Highlands. And I think that's it. We go into our Uncommons with a Dazzling Ramparts. We've seen this before. That's a wall that taps creatures. We've got. Become Immense, which is uh, plus six, plus six until end of turn. And then our final one is a Cell Tai Charm. We've seen this a couple of times, destroying enchantments and stuff. Our rare is a Hooded Hydra. It's a Snake Hydra. There's a battlefield with X plus one, plus one counters on it. When it dies, put a one, one green snake creature token out of the battlefield for each plus one, plus one counter on it. And it has Morph. Um, and as a turn face up, put five plus one plus one counters on it. So you can pay seven for a five five, or you can m morph for five five. It's your choice. And then we have forest and a morph. Forest and a morph, and a goblin and a warrior. That's pretty much how it's been going. Let's see here. We have Salt Road Patrol. I've never seen this one. Outlast, 1-1 one, one counter on this creature. That's 2-5 for 4. That's actually not bad, and it's a human scout. Uh, Krumar Bonkin, Feed the Clan, Sultide Banner, Alabaster Kirin, Thornwood Falls, we've seen that. Just Kai Scout, a Snowhorn Raider, Act of Treason, and a Mardu Heart Piercer is coming up. That's our first uncommon. And there goes my stack there. I'll get it. We have a foil, I accidentally saw it. So here's a Mardu Heart Piercer. It's raid and it deals two damage. So it's the shock creature. Um, the next one is Suspension Field, which we know what that does. That's an O ring for the most part. An Oblivion Ring, a Warden of the Eye. Then here's our rare. We have Avalanche Tusker. Whenever Avalanche Tusker attacks, target creature defending player controls blocks hit this combat if able. So it's a way to kill off creatures that you don't want. And then our foil is another Bloodfire Expert foil. Ooh, we've got Sarkhan's Emblem. This is the first time. At the beginning of your draw step, draw two additional cards. At the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. So the emblem is definitely going into the rare stack, and uh, it's meant for delve, I think it is. And yeah, I think it might be um, meant to support the delve mechanic. All right, and this is gonna bother me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop these up and put them down here so that they can't spill all over the place. All right, we have a wetland sandbar, valley dasher, erase, tigum scheming, smoke teller, disowned ancestor, naturalize, a jungle hollow, Rakshasa's Secret and a Ponyback Brigade. Got a couple of those guys. Wonder if they're trying to tell me something. Goblins are making a really big comeback? I don't know. So here are the uncommons. We have a Kin Tree Invocation. Put an XX Black and Green Spirit Warrior creature token out of the battlefield where X is the greatest toughness among creatures you control. Not half shabby for two. Wow, that is really good for two. We have. Quiet Contemplation. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may pay one. And if you do, tap target creature and opponent controls. And it doesn't untap during your controller's next untap step. 
Again, that's a Bruna Fodder card if ever I saw it. A Mardu Rough Rider. Whenever it attacks, target opponent, target creature can't block this turn. So there we go. It's a 5 4. All right. Basically, it has Intimidate or can't be blocked by two or more creatures kind of deal. And we have, oh, an Ankle, an ankle of Shanker. Haste, whenever Ankle Shanker attacks, creatures you control gain first strike and death touch until end of turn. Great way to clear your opponent's field. A forest and a warrior token. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six packs left. We've only gone through three. Yeah. Whew. Well, we've actually gone through almost, um, let's see here, 45 cards, 45 packs. Uh, Crippling Chill, Ionac Tracker, Feet of Resistance, Molting Snakeskin, Uli Loxodon, a Rugged Highlands, Kill Shot, Soul Tie Banner, Force Away, and a Windscarred Crag. So we're, we're really getting these this mana fixing stuff. I guess Wizards realized that we'd have issues. All right. Well, I would have issues anyway. We have Mistfire Weaver, Flying Morph, with Mistfire Weaver. Weaver is turned face up. Target creature control gains hexproof. So we've seen that. We have oh this one here. A pine walker. We've seen it. Morph and whenever it or another creature you control is turned face up, untap the creature. Yeah, we've seen that before. Then we have a team or charger. Reveal a green card in your hand for morph. It's turned face up. Target creature gains trample until end of turn. And then finally, our rare. Mm. Oh, the Dragon Throne of Tarkir. Come on. Equip creature has Defender and two tap. Other creatures you control gain Trample and get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is this creature's power. Very, very good. Um, I guess that one 4-4 four, four orc would work well with that. So he gives all your creatures. Does he make it? No, plus X, plus X, so everybody gets plus four, plus four. And its equip is three, but its cost is four. All right, we've got Inoc Tracker, um, Defiant Strike, Scald Kin, Bloodfire Expert, Soul Tie Scavenger, Hooting Mandrels, Naturalize, a Blossoming Sands, a Karu Dreadmaw, and a Ponyback Brigade. So, wow. We've got Arc Lightning. Do we know what this does? It deals three damage divided as you choose among one, two, or three target creatures and or players. So great for Bloodlust and EDH there. We have Secret Plans. We've seen this one. Face down creatures get plus zero, plus one. And whenever it is turned face up, you draw a card. Or whenever a, a, a face down creature is turned face up, you draw a card. Then we have Tomb of the Dragon, of the Spirit Dragon, which you gain a life for each colorless creature you control. One, two, three. Ah, Trap Essence. Counter target creature spell. Put two plus one plus one counters on up to one target creature. Wow. And then, uh, there you go. So it allows you to counter and then. Um, if you don't have any creatures, you don't have to worry about the plus one plus one counters being forcibly put on another creature that you don't control. And we have Canyon Lurkers, Salt Road Patrol, Skaldkin, um, Arrow Storm, Awaken the Bear, Bitter Revelation, A Tranquil Cove, uh, Rakshasa Secret, A Jeskai Banner, Naturalize. Alright, this is one card that I haven't seen yet. Go ahead and put these in here. The first uncommon is a Briber's Purse. It enters the battlefield with X gem counters on it. One tap, remove a gem counter from Briber's Purse. Target creature can't attack or block this turn. So it's a pacifism for the turn. Um, very good. This might see you, Bruna. I'm going to put that up here with the rares because that's a really nice card. We have. High Spire Mantis, we've seen it flying trample. 3 3 for 4. And we have a dead drop again. Delve, target player sacrifices two creatures. We now have a Rakshasa Death Dealer. 
Come on, show it. So it's two for two, two, uh, black and a green, plus two, plus two until end of turn, and regenerate it for black and a green. Very, very nice. Actually, it's a pretty powerful card. Oh, and we picked up Soren's emblem. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature. Sad Soren has his emblem now. Excellent. And then an island. Three packs left. First of the three being opened right now. Let's see what we get. An Arrow Storm. Um, Mardu Horde Chief. Now this is this is pretty bad. Uh, it does four damage, by the way, to target creature player, and five if you attack with a creature. Mardu Horde Chief, Archer's Parapet, Dutiful Return, a Windscarred Crag, Kill Shot, the Teamer Banner, Force Away, Bring Low. And then we'll hit the uncommons. We've got a foil. I saw the sparklies. I don't know what it is. So let's see what we have here. We've got Woo. Mistfire Weaver. We've seen him. We've got Amir Ek Nightblade. We've seen him. And we've got Set Adrift. Delve. Put target nine land permanent on top of its owner's library. Our rare is an Acropolis Fiend. Bleh. And our foil is a swamp. It's a pretty nice shiny swamp, though. A mountain and a morph. A mountain and a morph, and a forest and a morph, and a forest and a warrior, and a plains and a, and a warrior. That's what we get. All right. Second to last, we've got Trumpet Blast, Salt Road Patrol, Disdainful Stroke. Bitter Revelation, War Behemoth, Scoured Barons, another foils in this pack, by the way, Embodiment of Spring, Act of Treason, Efreet Weapon Master. So, let's see here. First uncommon is Seek the Horizon. Search your library for up to three basic land cards, reveal them, then put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. Not bad. We've got death frenzy all creatures get minus two minus two until end of turn whenever a creature dies this turn you gain a life really good to get rid of all those tokens you know and then we have raider spoils i love this card creatures you control get plus one plus oh whenever a warrior you control deals combat damage to a player you may pay one life if you do draw a card and our rare is a trail of mystery whenever a face down creature enters the battlefield under your control you may search your library for a basic land card reveal it put it into your hand then shuffle your library whenever a permanent you control is turned face up if it's a creature it gets plus two plus two until end of turn that is an awesome awesome card i like that and here's our foil we have a foil ride down i love it i love it to death we got another goblin and a plains Okay, last pack. Please, please, please. I feel nothing. I get no vibes. It feels about the size of um, the weight of a, of a pack of cards. We have a Whirlwind Adept, a Mardu War Shrieker, Defiant Strike, Crippling Chill, Kintree Warden, Mardu Spell Hunter, a Feed the Clan, a Longshot Squad, a Blossoming Sands, and a there we go, we'll put that there. Now, we're gonna do this one a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you the card. We're gonna say what it is and read it. It's Burn Away. Deal six damage to target creature. When that creature dies this turn, exile all cards from its controller's graveyard. We have Incremental Growth. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Two plus one, plus one on another, and three plus one, plus one on a third. Okay, we have another Ice Feather Aven. The rare is Ugin's Nexus. I haven't had that one. It's a legendary artifact. If a player would begin an extra turn, that player skips that turn instead. If Ugin's Nexus would be put into a graveyard from the battlefield, instead exile it and take an extra turn after this one. That is awesome. What comes next? A Foil Wind Swept Heath. 
Now that, my friends, is an awesome last pull to get a foil fetch land. I love that. And then, of course, we've got a swamp and the awesome goblin. No Sarkon in this pack um, or in the boxes. We did get a, uh, a Sorin. We got a foil um, fetch land. We got some pretty decent rares. And, uh, of course, Feet of Resistance is going to be going into my mono white deck. Ah, so this is... These are all the rares and uh, foils. We got quite a few of them. Um, most notably, Soren and the Windswept Heath. Those are two money cards right there. The Windswept Heath is going to be off the hook. Um, I am pretty happy with everything I got. We got both of the emblems. We got an Ugin artifact. Uh, just a lot of really fun stuff in here. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the rares weren't super awesome, but we did get Narset and Light and Master, so we can get uh, a red, white, and blue in America General, which is pretty cool. I'm going to be using the uh, um, the Helm Smasher for an awesome general for another EDH deck, and I think that would be pretty cool. So after this, we're going to go back to our standard D6 pack cracking. And hopefully we'll be able to use the dice. I think even with all the same packs, I'm going to roll the dice. There's just something about rolling dice that's just fun. So, until next time, enjoy playing games. Enjoy playing Magic. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. That really helps me out. Please take the time to check out my Patreon page. That would be extremely awesome if you decided you wanted to support me. Because you're not only supporting me, you're supporting... A lot of other people who have issues because half of all proceeds after fees and taxes will go towards charity that is a solemn promise uh, how I show that will be in videos that come up whenever we make a donation I'll show you how much we made for the month how much went to fees and taxes and how much went to charity and with that said I'm Excalibur and I'm out